Hello, I'm Matt Honeycutt. Welcome to my course on building strongly typed AngularJS applications with ASP.NET MVC5. Your eyes and ears aren't deceiving you. I did just say that this course is on building strongly typed AngularJS applications. But I know what you're thinking. These two things really don't go together, right? Strongly typed, AngularJS, how is that possible? Over the next eight modules, including this one, I'm going to prove to you that not only is such a thing possible, it's actually desirable for a lot of reasons. Oh, you don't trust me. You're skeptical. I can understand that. Let's take a look at where we're going to apply our new helper. So as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of markup here. Let's go through and replace each of the form groups with a call to our new helper. We'll start first with this which this is the form group for our customer name. And we'll just say customer form group for name. As you can see, our markup is much simpler now. One thing that doesn't work well out of the box with ASP.NET MVC and Angular is validation. While a standard MVC project can leverage jQuery validation with almost no effort on our part, that's simply not the case for Angular. But, we were able to modify our form group helper, making it aware of ASP.NET MVC validation annotations and converting those into the standard HTML5 validation attributes that AngularJS requires. We even built our own AngularJS directives to indicate to the user when a field is valid or invalid, and we had our form group helper apply those directives automatically. Let's go ahead and make our name property required. Let's also make our work email both required and set its data type to email address. Let's make home email an email address, but let's leave it as an optional property. Let's go to try to add a new customer. And let's try to submit this form without actually filling anything out. As you can see, our client side validation activated as soon as we tried to submit our form. If we enter in a value in a required field, like name here, you can see that the field changes the valid. If we go to a field that requires an email address like work email and enter something that isn't an email address, our field remains invalid. But if we enter a valid email address, the field changes the valid. If we go to our work phone and we enter a phone number here, our field changes the valid. But if I add a letter on the end of this, the field transitions back to invalid. I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty cool that we can get all of this validation without having to actually change any of the markup on our template here. All of the work we did was in a pair of directives and some changes to our model and our form group for helper.